Hey, um, YouTube, how's everyone doing? So, uh, I know I don't post a lot of videos here recently. Um, I've been trying to help people out, um, be somewhat useful in my communities, um, just basic stuff. But, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, um, you got all you can tell from this video is I'm getting sick of all these, um, pretty much these people who claim to be whatever, like social justice warriors, um, supporters, uh, like mostly. People, liberals who are, I understand that they're trying to make a good message, but when you are constantly attacking people for the wrong reasons, I'm willing to take a stand against it, and I'm willing to um, voice my opinions, which I hate being political, because I'm an anarchist, I think government should not even be a thing anymore, and that's that. Um, what I will, what I will like to um, clear up before we get started is a simple thing. First of all, as you can see, I am a white male. I'm 300 pounds. I'm 6'1". I condemn any acts against someone based on their race, gender, or ethnic beliefs. I believe someone should be condemned based on their own actions, own personal actions. That's that. So you can't blame me for being white because of my ancestry or something that I have no control over. That's not on me. That's someone else's problem. But yeah. So, um, we all know the I'm too big um, platforms out there that has the, probably the biggest reason we have a lot of hate, and that's Twitter and TikTok, and I'm just going to go over some of the stories that I saw on these two platforms, what I, th I thought was really disturbing, and how bad we are becoming as a society, like I said, I don't like being part of political BS, because let's be honest, it proves that it does nothing right for you, so we're going to start with, um, Twitter, so, um, as anyone if you've been on Twitter for um, probably in the past couple weeks, you probably saw the um, something about Twitter, something about training on Twitter where they're trying to get Ninja, the um, famous Fortnite streamer, um, banned because a video, like some news article from 2018 or 2016, I can't remember, came out where he said that um, it's not his job to teach your kids about like racial equality, blah, blah. Um, racial inequality, Black Lives Matter, white privilege, which I don't know why people call it white privilege. I don't see no fucking privilege I get, but whatever. Um, I'm, just, I'm just looking at it like, so what's the issue? So apparently, um, this news article wants to roast Ninja because he's not going to teach your kids on, um, political is on like political issues, which I completely understand. With taking consideration, what's the problem with that? If he should try to preach it, someone's bound to bound um, to spell it out of control and misinterpret the whole entire thing he's trying to teach. And you can tell me, oh, that's not a thing. No, it is a thing. There is plenty of people out there who will use a small evidence against somebody to completely ruin their lives. It's a big thing. I have seen people go on TikTok with get like a small portion of someone's video then they go like yeah this is why this guy is bad for this reason but they don't give you the whole context of the video they're not going to do that because they know if they, someone saw the whole context that they are not going to go take care of it and that's why I think where a lot of people are brain dead nowadays because they're not going to go look at the context they're going to see what they, they're going to go with what they see who they support and that's it which is incredibly dumb in my opinion I at least give people a fair possibility to explain their actions but they're not going to do that but whatever um, so, back to the whole Twitter and Ninja thing. So, they're trying to put Tw Ninja as a white supremacist and whatever. So, personally, I never supported Ninja. I didn't think he was all that good. He was not even all that entertaining. He was pretty boring, in my opinion. And, you talk to a guy who watched a cr bunch of crazy content. But, for the fact that you just tell me that, um, it's his job to teach your kids about this stuff, it's dumb. Because, technically... The only two people qualified to teach your kids anything is the school system and the parents. So if you're a parent and a guy on the internet who plays video games has to teach your kid this, you need to go get rid of your kid. You do not deserve to be called a parent. You do not deserve the right to be owning a child. You deserve to be the hell knock out of you regardless of what you are. Because you're not taking the effort by relying on some guy on the internet who plays video games to um, handle that. Which is dumb in my opinion. So, why? Um, another thing, like, I keep seeing on Twitter is how people always want to tell me, um, that, oh, okay, 
So this is actually two things. I get this a lot, and I just delete the comments a lot because it's just stupid to me. But people always want to call me a white supremacist because I'm white and I'm an anarchist, which is incredibly dumb in my opinion. First of all, I'm not. I do not think there's any human as better than another human. I flat out think don't think that. I'm kind of person. I'm. I look at it like this. If we were in a survival situation and you're completely useless to me, your food. That's it. It's survival. If you're not going to be useful, you're going to be a meal. It's super simple. That's my logic. I suffer from I suffer from madness issues. So we'll keep that in mind. But for you to state that I don't understand this, and yet you keep pushing narratives that make it harder for me to understand, it's dumb. It's extremely dumb. Like, um, I don't, like, I have seen, like, people who are promoting, like, the, whatever you call the gay, the gay rights people, I don't remember their, um, they, they have, like, 20 letters, and I can never get it right, so I'm not gonna bother messing with that. Um, I see, like, people doing Black Lives Matter, I see people trying to promote feminism, and this word TikTok was a problem, so, as you can tell, um, as you can tell, some videos I made a reference saying, hey, I have a TikTok, go check it out. Um, so, don't know what videos they were, um, but I just wiped out all history of my TikTok. And it's because I went on TikTok, um, told a feminist that she, her logic was flawed and dumb. And apparently it started a battle. Which is okay, everyone has a right to hate me, because I don't care for your respect anyway. I just care for you to... At least leave me alone, let me do what I'm doing, and that's it. I don't want to really have interactions with people that much anymore. But, um, she, but apparently she was offended that I said that women, to me, will never, never meet to equal the, um, women will never be what you think you, you should be. Women should be, does it affect the fact that they're human, and that's all they'll ever be. You never be treated anything more equal than my, in my opinion. So they were all butthurt. Um, she's trying to, like, insult me, saying, like, I'm not going to get a girlfriend, which is okay. I prefer solitude, because I can't beat the crap out of people for portrayal in, solit in solitude. So, but, like, while I was on TikTok, I realized that there's a lot of people on there who are, um, messing up messages, um, trying to stay, like, we're having a peaceful, um, protest or peaceful conversation, but if you look like half the stuff they do, they're threatening you left and right for being a different believer of a system and i'm sick of seeing that like i got i'm glad i'm not on tiktok no more that whole application is complete trash anyone who wants to tell me other wrong tell me that i'm wrong you're wrong okay there's a bunch of threats. i'm gonna give you all a list of things i have seen on tiktok which i think is completely disrespectful even based on the good attention that is behind them okay so let's take black lives matter on tiktok i have seen people on tiktok well, Black Lives Matter, you always want to right, preach, oh, if you're white, you're racist. You're black, you can't be racist and everything, which is not true. But I'm not going to get into that because that's a stupid conversation in my opinion. But what I find funny is how many of those, um, the Black Lives Matter people on TikTok, they will say black people get our support, but I have seen a bunch of them threaten half my American, half, half of my African American friends for supporting Trump, having a Confederate flag, Having these weird beliefs, and one, I know one of them called Black Lives Matter a terrorist group. And what do they do? They attack them. I thought you guys were supposed to be supporting all black lives, and you're threatening my friend with death threats and everything because you, um, because he told you all you were terrorist groups. It makes the sense to me, okay? He's a black person. You're supposed to be supporting him. Why are you trying to kill him? It's stupid. Um, then you have, like, um, I guess you call the JB. I don't know, the gay and lesbian groups, they always want to go up there and says like, shame you for being straight or whatever. Well, the problem is they can never shame me. I prefer solitude. Like I clearly say, if you're human, I don't care. If you're going to be a problem, you're going to be treated like a problem. It's super simple. I don't dis I don't discriminate. I will beat you up no matter what because I'm criminally insane and according to my hell, I don't give a shit. And I, I hate to say that. But then you have like the, um, like, you see these people who says, hey, we're trying to do what we cause. No, you're promoting violence. Okay? I don't know if you guys see that. You're promoting the violence. It's like, we'll take the people who rushed the Capitol. Okay, yes, they did a bad thing. They rushed the Capitol. But yet, go through California, um, Detroit, all these places. 
that they're really burning down their own fucking neighborhood. And you guys are saying that's okay. So what's the difference in running, running a capital, a guy defending his family with an AR-15 on his property, who's a sinister, by the way. What will, what makes those bad, but it's okay to... What we'll makes those good, but it's bad for you to run after a capital building. Full of politicians who are not doing their job. Don't give two shits about us. And are promoting more problems for everybody. Is what I don't understand. Like, and I know this rant is stupid. I don't want to do this ever again. But just please understand, okay? I do not want problems in our world. I want people to understand that we all have to do our part. But when you're demanding it, especially someone like me who grew up in abusive households with females, has an anger issue, has a complete psychotic problem, and clearly tells people that Darwinism is a religion to him, what are you really doing to make a better world? Because technically what you're doing is taking the world that you think is good and smashing it to benefit your own butt. So until this is all going away, if you think I, in part of this video that I was wrong, prove to me that I'm, prove to me that I'm wrong. I'm willing to openly discuss it. But if you're going to use stupid um, insults and whatever, then your argument's automatically invalid, and I'm not going to waste my time with a weak brain individual. So I hope you have a good day. Peace. I'm done.